Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and for today's video is going to be my current favorite It's been a while since I did film uh, dedicated to my monthly favorites and I'm sorry for not doing those and I'm really all due for doing this video but I decided to uh, add all of this three months uh, monthly favorite from starting to September all the way to November because November is almost done and Thanksgiving is tomorrow <laughs> and it's been a while since I do this once but as those three months um, I put all this favorites in a basket so that I know which one are the ones that I really love to use on that particular month and if you guys are interested for this one then just keep on watching and for those of you who are new to my channel my name is princess and I do makeup looks skincare products reviews and makeup uh, reviews and it's all about beauty products and I'm going to start with the September uh, favorite first I'm going to start with the skincare products and this one is the true care Pantanal 10 moisture skin in it's free and this is my favorite because whenever I have a condition or like the acne problem i always use this uh toner because it helps to heal and moisture at the same time the skin and then i love using this toner with this neutrogena uh, hydro boost hydrating serum it really works a lot and i'm already like run out of this and they don't have this one on the store that i bought this one but i really really highly recommend this serum if you guys um wanted to have a moisture and extra hydration to your skincare routine and this one is really a must and i love using this one with this combination and the next combination for this skincare routine is going to be this Bella Monster uh, Stress Out Solution Cream and this one, this three really works a lot and unfortunately I'm run out of this so I already uh, empty this two and soon I'm going to empty this one but for sure I'm going to repurchase this three and including the uh, Bella Monster uh, cleanser that one is really good too and then now let's move on to the makeup first i'm going to talk about this jelly uh pop from elf this is their like kind of uh one of their good primer this is their jelly pop zoo primer and it is a uh, watermelon scent and at first i got uh really disappointed on this one because my makeup is really messed up and uh, after uh, I use it I get like all the bumps all the pimples and stuff and during that time I use the other skincare of this line so yeah I'm going to talk about those later on like maybe another video for that one and this one I'm like kind of like ah I don't like it because of what happened and then I tried to use this primer with all the uh, concealers uh, foundations that I have on my collection and I ended up using it with this one this is the Maybelline dream urban cover uh, full coverage and it does have a sunscreen and this one it does have SPF 50 antioxidant and I have in the shade of 128 warm nude so these ones are really perfect to each other oh wait it's called <laughs> it's backwards they are really perfect to each other and I couldn't stop using these two together I know it's really like kind of like recording stuff that I kept telling you guys all of these combinations that really works for me and then the next one is going to be the Maybelline New York the Falsies Lash Lift this one I use this one alone whenever I wanted to put makeup on and I don't need to put lashes and because i wanted to 
uh, rest my lashes sometimes without using the fake uh, falsies um, but for now I have those falsies so yeah because of this extra extravagant uh, makeup look <laughs> lastly for the September uh, favorite I have this Yare London lip luster in the shade of kiss me I did use this one to partner with the book that I read and if you guys um not really uh, following me on my Instagram I did a project uh, project group or uh, I joined to this project uh, project pen or something like that it's called the hashtags books and pens and it is uh, created by um, at pen underscore D day or D underscore replay and I'm going to pop it up her Instagram right here and basically that project is like you match it up your book that you wanted to read on that month or that day or week um, and then you're gonna look for your makeup products or whatever you wanted to um, use at the same time you pan your makeup or skincare products or empty it at the same time you're having fun reading your books that you love to read and for me sometimes it takes me a day or two to finish the book or sometimes it takes me months to finish the book basically these are the products that i love using on the september favorite my september favorites now let's moving on to my october favorites <laughs> First, I'm going to talk about these lashes that I have on my eyes right now. These are the Salon Perfect Be Natural Multi Pack, and it's in the style of 610. It really works too. I'm starting to like them, especially on this makeup look. And they are easy to apply and they stick a lot to your lashes on and I just love using this one and you can use them as much as you like I guess because this one is I think this is the fourth or fifth time that I did use them all over again next favorite one it will be these uh, Zoya professional lacquer nail polish it's in the shade of violet I got this one on my other beauty box subscription before and I think this one is um, from the Nikki tutorials box curated and I love this one because it really suits my toenails together it looks like they're cute and it just really a muted kind of purple I love using this one that's why um, I put it on my October favorites next is the um, elf cosmetics bite size eyeshadows this is in the uh, jalap hot jalapeno eyeshadows and this is the last one I tried on the eyeshadows that I bought for them I bought four and then this is the last one I tried because I'm like I'm going to save it up for last because I love greens and and this one it really uh, catch the eyes I already did a makeup look using this on the October and I just love the makeup I it turned out to using this uh, product really recommend this one if you wanted to try a uh, new different colors especially green the poreless body primer and aside from this dewy primer I love using this one this is their most uh, primer that is really uh, like everyone's wanted to use because this is the dupe for the touch one that is really like I think it's $80 and this one is only eight bucks and this is how it is right now and they have a luminous one they have the matte one but for sure this one is more really a good one because not only makes your base really smooth at the same time it doesn't have any pores um, coming out to your base i guess october it started to get dry it gets cold and gets hot and then it's cold again so i tried to use a oil 
uh, base after like my skincare routine. So I have this Acure Seriously Soothing Blue Tansy Night Oil and it does have blue tansy and rose and this one is for normal normal to sensitive skin so this is how it looks like it doesn't have any uh like names on this bottle but that's why i i, ha I have to keep this box together and then after i put my uh, night cream i use this one and sometimes i use this one in the day because sometimes it really dries whenever we go out and walk my son and our dog so i use this one to add it up a little bit of hydration on my skin and lastly for my october favorites is this one this is the anatasha beverly hills uh blush trio and this one is berry adore this is how they look like i did use mostly is the middle one and this one that's it for my october favorites and now we're going to my november favorites of 2020 this one this is the color pop super shock eyeshadows and it's been a while since i did use some of my collection on this particularly super shock shadows and i did use this one among the other super shock shadows i did pick to wear um with the uh, match of the book i'm going to get that book i did use of some of this eyeshadow super shock shadows with this um harry potter and the cursed child and okay i'm after i read this book i'm really like kind of obsessed with harry potter again and i'm like um I wanted to read some of the books again from the uh, Sorcerer's Stone all the way to the uh, the last one which is the what is it the Deadly Hallows part 2 and then this one it is really nice too because of it really continued the story from the uh, first of the first movie all the way to the end now especially the the kids of harry potter and Ginny. and anyway let's go back to this shadow um this one is the the six and they released this one among the other um uh, i think five of them uh among five of the super shock shadows and they got like six million followers in instagram and they why not to uh throw all this six super shock shadows for you guys because we just hit six million followers on instagram and I, I think this is the last one that i bought for super shock shadows really buttery and this is how it looks like It does have a gold reflection. It looks like a kind of like mustardy shade, but it does have a glitters that it's like kind of shifting, like kind of greenish, uh, goldish uh, glitter, something sh or shimmers. The next professional makeup. This is their ultimate edit, uh, petite palette, and this is the warm neutrals and if you guys are following me in this channel i did use this one on my one dip challenge one deep makeup challenge and surprisingly i love how that makeup look turned out even though i only dip once and i'm going to use this once a lot because as you guys know i love warm uh warm eyeshadows like warm tones this one it will be the elf this is their brilliant mauve uh, blush and this is how it looks like and the next one it will be the LA girl surreal dream eyeshadow palette and this is how it looks like so by now you guys know what are my favorite shades I have gold I wanted to blue greens warm of this uh, kind of red orangey and like a moth moth mood moss moss do you guys know moss uh, uh, super stay matte ink 
from Maybelline that are uh, coffee uh, edition and particularly is this one this is their uh, mocha inventor and if you guys haven't watched that lip swatches I'm going to link it down below and then I have the chai genius right now and I just put a little bit lip gloss on top and I'm going to put this eyeshadow palette that I did use for this makeup look which is the that's Asha Denona one and this is the mini lilac palette for November because I did wear this look today and it's still November and this is how it looks like oh I didn't know that they have the names on the back so um poison berry is my, one of my favorite and blue Dal dahlia is the ones i have used this two on my makeup look today and it's really blendable and very pigmented a little bit buttery and as you guys can see it's easy for me to finish this eye look without even like hard uh, like too harsh on me and it, that's why i know now why a lot of people really obsess on her eyeshadows or eyeshadow palette and then maybe i'm going to try to check it out which ones are the ones that i really like on her eyeshadows and i will try my best to buy it that's it for you guys i hope you guys like this video please give this a thumbs up and see you on my last video for the monthly favorites of 2020 and thanks for watching see you on my next video bye